All right, guys. Yeah, today I want to show you very quickly how to use OpenCPN with Virtual Sailor or Vehicle Simulator. But I think it only works with Virtual Sailor right now because of the NMEA support. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a very dirty and quick uh, tutorial uh, because I'm just doing this like in, in a couple of minutes and trying my best to explain to you. So first of all, what do we need in order to get this stuff running? So of course you need Virtual Sailor. <laughs> You need OpenCPN. I will put the link in the description there. You can download it for Windows or for Mac or Raspberry Pi, wherever you want to use it. Actually, it doesn't matter. You could connect it via network anyways, but that's another topic. And yeah, you just want to install OpenCPN and when you're going to run it, it will look basically like this. And you will have like a big world map with a lot of polygons. Uh, yeah, not much detail as you can see. So how do we change this? We need a chart for OpenCPN, of course. So basically the map. Those maps or charts we can get over this link. I will put it in the description too. There's basically like a, um, like a reference where you can download specific files for specific countries. For example, if you want to have charts for Germany, you can go to a German website and just download those here for free because those are like basically open for everyone to use. And how do you install them? It's actually very simple. So you want to go into OpenCPN, you want to go in the settings and you're going to go to charts. It's in German for me because I'm German, uh, but I think this point should be named charts and you can add a directory. So this is very simple. You just want to create some, some folder you can call it charts and you're just going to put the chart files you downloaded inside this folder, just purely in there and OpenCPN will find them on its own. So you want to select the folder, you want to say build a new database, so he finds the chart and then you want to press apply. And then on OK and you will see a red square on your map now. This is basically now a region which OpenCPN found in your chart directory. For in this example, it's basically the Baltic Sea. And I think those are from OpenSea maps, if I'm not completely correct. And when you zoom in now, yeah, you will see a lot of detail, uh, which is great. So now we want to connect OpenCPN to Virtual Sailor. So to demonstrate this, I made a very little um, situation. So we gotta load in there. And yep, there we go. Now we are in front of the harbor of Tallinn. So next step, you wanna establish an NMEA connection to OpenCPN. This is basically a network connection which sends data to OpenCPN, so OpenCPN knows where your ship is. So you want to go to NMEA and it should already be running. So if uh, start NMEA is basically the slight gray, it means the server is already running. And you find the IP and a port here. This is your local IP. So this is basically only on your computer. That's why I'm showing this too, because it, it has no reference. You couldn't connect to my PC with this. Um, and now you want to go into OpenCPN, go to settings and go to connections. Here you can add a new connection. You want to click on add new connection and you want to say it's a network connection and it's TCP as, a, as the protocol. So this is some IT stuff. I don't need to explain it. Just choose TCP. And now you want to look for your IP address right here. It can look different for you, but for me it is 192, 168, 70, uh, 56 and 1. Pardon. And yeah, we're just going to type this in here. What the, the, like that. And you have a port, which is 8052. And you want to uh, choose the data port to 8052. You can just write in here that is 
this connection is for uh, VSNG. And that's it. Now, all you want to do is you want to press apply and he will choose this connection as active. And now, as you can see, we can see our ship on the map. Please note that the translation from VSNG to uh, OpenCPN is not quite accurate because maps are sometimes built quite badly. Um, for example, we could just like basically teleport um, into the harbor and it should change on the map as you can see. And yeah, the map says we're right here at this light tower, but we are actually not, we are way behind this. It's because map in game and map in real life are different. If you're gonna go to the open sea, for example, let's say, I don't know, right here. So we're just gonna port our ship right here. You will see that it's a little bit more accurate, I would say. Yeah, you see, we're right here and we are right here. So this this fits kind of. So it's it's not very precise, but it's working. And I can also show you if we, for example, now wanna turn the ship, which we can quickly do. Just gonna crank up the speed a little bit. And gonna give it a, a very interesting turn like that. Oh, is the rudder not working? Ah, because of autopilot. Yeah, just give us a little bit of speed. So we're gonna turn the ship, and as you can see, in OpenCPN, the ship turns too because all data from VSNG is now sent to OpenCPN and you can track your ship's location on real charts while it's not very precise. But I hope this little tutorial helped. I know it, it's not the best tutorial out there. My English is also not the very best, but uh, yeah, I think this should be understandable enough to get a basic setup running. There was also an option on how to implement route planning from OpenCPN into VSNG, but I'm not quite sure how to do it right now, so I will need to look it up on my own and try to make another tutorial. Have a great day and thanks for watching.